so welcome 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 so in this video we will learn all about the rm and plotsky value of key richard missel value and the polanski value of key we will uh, learn the theory part of it so practical video of the uh, determination of rm and the polanski value of key has already been added in this channel so you could please watch that video and in this we will be covering the theory in detail how to uh, determine the rm and pmv value of a uh, key and what are their significance that we will know today so uh, if you see that rm value is the number of ml of 0.1 normal aqueous alkali solution required to neutralize water soluble steam volatile fatty acid distilled from 5 gram of fat under precise conditions specified in the method so rm value is the definition is this that is the ml of 0.1 normal aqueous alkali solution required to neutralize water soluble uh, steam volatile fatty acid which are two fatty acid one is the butyric acid c40 another is the c60 that is the caproic acid so these two fatty acids contribute to the rm value distilled from 5 gram of fat under the precise conditions so conditions should be precise that has been specified in the method so similarly polanski value is the number of uh, ml of 0.1 normal aqueous alkali solution required to neutralize water insoluble fatty acids as uh, steam uh, water insoluble steam volatile fatty acids distilled from 5 gram of milk fat under the precise conditions uh, specified in the method so steam volatile water insoluble fatty acids uh, uh, are determined in the polanski value so polanski value is the number of uh, ml of 0.1 normal aqueous alkali solution required to neutralize steam volatile water insoluble fatty acids so steam volatile water insoluble fatty acids distill from 5 gram of fat under precise conditions specified in the method so this is the definition of rm value so two fatty acid which contribute to the polanski value are this c80 and this c10 this is caprylic and this is capric acid okay so c4 is the butyric acid c6 is the caproic acid so c6 is the caproic acid okay now let us see about them uh, rm value is substantially a measure of lower fatty acids of ghee uh, like butyric acid and caproic acid so two fatty acid which contribute to the rm value of ghee include the butyric acid and the caproic acid now butyric acid contributes uh, about three fourth to the uh, rm value whereas caproic acid contribute one fourth to the rm value while uh, caprylic acid that is c80 contribute one fourth to the polanski value whereas the capric acid which is uh, nothing but the c10 zero so this is c10 zero uh, if you write c10 zero uh, it contributes 3 4 to the polanski value so capric acid contributes uh, that c10 zero that is no no double bond this means the no double bond and then there are c uh, 10 carbon atoms are there in the uh, capric acid that contribute 3 4 to the polanski value of the common vegetable oils only coconut and palm kernel oil contains steam volatile acids and uh, they exhibit rm value of 7 and the polanski value of 13 because these two are also called as problematic fat so using the normal physicochemical constants these two fats are very difficult to be detected in ghee okay because uh, they are having uh, uh, steam volatile acids and rm value uh, exhibit uh, by them is 7 and polanski value is exhibited by them is 13 so in general ghee is required to have rm value not less than 24 so this is the uh, fsa standard also now the, the recently introduced fsa standard that uh, uh, the ghee is not have rm value less than 24 now uh, if you see here uh, that rm value is and uh, can be divided into three uh, category or three parts uh, even in four steps are there that we'll discuss in this video so first one is the sponification so first step is the sponification so what is the sponification we know that in sponification we are treating the triglyceride with alkali and we will have the corresponding soap if we have sodium uh, alkali if we are using sodium hydroxide we will have the sodium salt of the fatty acid if we are using potassium hydroxide then we have potassium salt of the fatty acid so here in which we are using nvsa so we will have the glycerol formation and the and the soap formation and this reaction is known as sponification so first reaction in in rm value determination is the sponification and second is the acidification so as in acidification we are adding the sulfuric acid uh, so that the corresponding fatty acid can be released so this is acidification and in the third uh, uh, step of the reaction what we are doing is 
we are uh, uh, the volatile fatty acid which are able to obtain the steam volatile water soluble fatty acid which is there in the distillate that is titrated using the uh, NOH and we will again have the uh, RCONA and plus two the sodium salt of fatty acid will be formed again so this is uh, uh, the last part of this is the titration okay so for sponification we take 5 ml of ghee in a, a Polonsky value flask that Polonsky flask which is th of 300 ml and then we add 20 gram of glycerol and 2 ml of 50 percent sodium hydroxide solution and perform the sponification heat the flask uh, under the direct flame until we will have a clear solution so there yeah. and we are also carrying the uh, blank test in which we are not taking the ghee sample uh, so we are taking 20 grams of glycerol and 2 ml of 50 percent sodium hydroxide solution solution for the blank test we have to perform the blank test also so in this method uh, ghee is bonified using glycerol sodium hydroxide solution uh, diluted with water and then diluting with water we are adding 93 ml of uh, boiled distilled water that will be covering and then acidified we have to add the sulfuric acid uh, to release the corresponding fatty acid and there are uh, after steam distilled in a glass operator at a control rate at a control rate then condensed and the cooled distillate is filtered the water soluble acids which pass through are estimated by titration with alkali to give the rm value but the water insoluble fatties which are collected on the filter paper are uh, dissolved out in alcohol and titrated to give the uh, plus key value so alcohol soluble fatty acid steam volatile alcohol soluble fatty acid are determined in the plus key value now if you see what all apparatus is like so here this is the rm value apparatus where we can see then we have we require 1 10 ml uh, flask so volumetric flask 1 10 ml we require here we can see which is the receiver we uh, require the Polonsky flask this is of 300 ml so these dimensions are to be uh, under specified condition and these to be uh, maintained so this is Polonsky flask we are we take it uh, for 300 ml if you're taking 250 ml then probably you, uh, you, you won't get the result so we have to take 3 ml volumetric flask round bottom flask is there this is called the volumetric flask then we have a steel head also so here we can see steel head and then we have a condenser so this is a condenser so we have a condenser so these the dimensions so all these parts uh, that is the steel head uh, the condenser has been fixed by BAS uh, so that that to be followed so that's what specified conditions so all these are <coughs> specified uh, so here if you uh, change it this is the 3 ml, 300 ml volumetric flask okay so uh, this is the uh, rm value operators or polanski value operators so what we require graduated cylinders which 25 ml 100 ml capacity is required by pipette 50 ml glass panel is required we are very we will keep the uh, what one, number four filter paper glass beads approximately 1.52 mm in diameter so that bumping can be prevented the assembly of the operators of the distillation is given by is uh, 3508 we require flat bottom boiling flask polanski value that is of 300 ml will be made of heat resistance glass and then we also require what one filter paper grade 4 9 centimeter diameter we require sodium hydroxide for purification which is 50 percent solution so uh, to be prepared weight by weight and then we also require dilute sulfuric acid so how this dilute sulfuric acid is prepared you have to take approximately 25 of the concentrated sulfuric acid that is diluted in the ratio 1 is to 1 and then adjust it until 50 ml of it neutralized 2 ml of the 50 percent sodium hydroxide solution okay so this is how the dilute sulfuric acid is prepared again repeat you have to take 20 ml of the concentrated sulfuric acid dilute it in the ratio 1 is to 1 and then adjust at 40 ml of it so as to neutralize 2 ml of 50 percent sodium hydroxide solution so this way you have to prepare the dilute sulfuric acid then we require glass beads for overthrown indicator 0.5 percent solution 95 percent ethanol this is uh, always it is to be prepared in this way and then if high alcohol 95 percent neutralized to thin uh, immediately before you so uh, you have to ensure that alcohol is also neutralized then you take sodium hydroxide solution then that is for titration then for the filter paper you require the four and then gives low 98 percent glycerol you required for the application okay now let us see the step by step procedure so what you have to take first you take five gram of the fat sample in a Polonsky flask and then add 20 gram of the glycerol so this will increase the density so it will prevent the contents from uh, contents during sponification to come out and then you have to add 20 gram of the glycerol and then you have to add 2 ml of the 50 percent sodium hydroxide solution now heat the flask over directly without continuous mixing until the fat is bonified and the liquid becomes clear cover the flask with the uh, with the patch glass now uh, so you have to perform a blank test without key using the same reagents and the procedure 
then you have to add 93 of the boiling distilled water which had been boiled for 15 minutes so you have to take boil the distilled water for 15 minutes and then 93 of the boiled distilled water which is boiling and that you have to add into the uh, flask that 300 uh, ml polanski flask then you add water to the soap ensuring clarity and color if needed repeat the sponification with the this would to be added then i add glass beads uh, dilute sulfuric acid for so that the uh, cosmic fatty acids are released then you add it and then connect the flask to the distillation apparatus then you will connect it to the uh, distillation apparatus so these two are the continuous lines so you have to add the water to uh, ensuring uh, clarity and color uh, so sponification is on, uh, completed only we have when we have the liquid it becomes clear that that will be the indication of the sponification has taken place now heat the flask without boiling its contents and in the insoluble fatty uh, insoluble acids which are there they, they get melted and then distill 110 ml in uh, 19 to uh, 21 minutes so you have to distill uh, 110 ml in 19 to 21 minutes while maintaining the temperature of the distillate between 18 and uh, 18 21 degrees celsius so while maintaining the temperature of distillation between 18 and 21 degrees celsius uh, you have to distill 110 ml in 19 to 21 minutes then you replace the flask with a 25 ml weathering cylinder to collect drainings immerse the flask in 15 degrees celsius water for about 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes so you what you have to do then then do you replace the flask so one um, distillation will be completed in 19 to 21 minutes uh, no. 110 ml in the, the volumetric flask we have taken so 110 ml will be collected in 19 to 21 minute and you have to maintain the temperature of the distillate between 18 to uh, 21 degrees celsius now replace the flask with a uh, 25 ml measuring cylinder to collect the draining so you have to collect the draining and so immerse the flask in 15 degrees celsius water for 10 minutes then you will uh, immerse the flask that you cover the, the flask with uh, its lid and then you place it uh, you have to ensure that the uh, sort chain the fatty acid they are not escaping so you have to uh, cool it also uh, at 15 degrees celsius for 10 minutes so that these get condensed into the solution so if, uh, you have immersed the flask in 15 degrees celsius for 10 minutes then filter the sample with the filter number filter 4 reject the first draining collect in a 100 ml volumetric flask okay then you have to titrate against 0.1 normal NUH using phenolphthalein's indicator until a pink color persists for 2 to 3 minutes. Okay, you have to titrate it using 0.1 normal NUH using phenolphthalein's indicator until a pink color persists for 2 to 3 minutes. Note the ML of uh, N by 2 and 10 alkali used for the titration and then you use it to calculate the RM value. And then uh, there are 5 things which are to be washed. Wash the condenser that is the cylinder, 110 ml flask, the filter paper, and funnel these are the five things one is condenser second is cylinder third is 110 ml flasks and 25 ml cylinder which are used to collect the drainings and the filter paper that is four filter paper and the funnel uh, with uh, three successive 15 ml of portion of the distilled water and then you have to discuss the washing then you dissolve the insoluble acid by three similar washing of the neutralized ethyl alcohol so if you do the carry out the uh, uh, washing with the uh, 15 ml of the neutralized ethanol then uh, of what washing will be carried out again for the condenser also cylinder 110 ml flask filter and funnel and then all these washings are collected and then uh, these are to be collected in 550 ml flask and then titrate the alcohol solution against the 0.1 normal energy you will titrate using phenolphthalein indicator until you are getting the pink color then note the ml of alkali used in the titration and then you calculate the Polanski value the blank determination is also calculated without fat uh, in all respect so whatever tighter value you are getting this is for uh, blank this is for sample sample minus blank uh, you have to multiply it by 1.1 so this 1.1 how it is coming because we have taken 110 ml uh, flask and then uh, the, we are here we are taking only for 100 ml of it uh, for titration so if 100 ml uh, is having uh, the tighter value t uh, say and then 110 ml will have the up 1.1 so that is why here it is 1.1 is coming and then in Pulaski value you will take the uh, sample minus blank that is the uh, steam volatile water uh, in insoluble fatty acids which are the uh, caprolic and the capric acids okay So here uh, in this step if you see here in 9th step that filter the sample using a Pedman number filter 
paper four has rejected the first running so we have to reject the first running collecting only the 100 ml in the flask okay so why we are uh, rejecting in the first running because uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this quantity will be used for the um, for the equilibrating the content so equilibrating the your volumetric flask funnel but when and filter, filter paper so the, for equilibration you will uh, discard this and take only 100 ml for the titration so uh, here purpose is to have the equilibration uh, of the uh, with the environment that uh, uh, your uh, volumetric flask is there then uh, panel is there and then what one number four all to, all to be related so that we our uh, there is no error error in our determination that is the purpose that we are first rejecting the first uh, first running and only taking 100 ml for titration so here rm value will be 1.1 1 .1 into t1 minus t2 and then polonsky value will be t3 minus t3 so in this way we are determining the rm and polonsky value of ghee and we have covered and the procedure the principle all the reactions which are involved during the rm value and the polonsky value determination thank you